So continuing to field more questions here for you, Asamili. I was asked a question about how not to overthink questions, okay? Now, this is really, really important because I can provide you very concrete value here. Uh, so before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends. Prepping for your simile. Help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. And find me on Telegram. Links are also down below. Now let me address the fucking question, which is about how do I not overthink questions, okay? Now, what I can tell you is that when students don't know an answer to a question, they tend to choose weird sounding shit, okay? This is an observation that's not made based on any arbitrary subjectivity. I have objectively observed with many students over the years that, and I work with students every day, that when they're doing a question, let's say, on the Skype, and they don't know, they tend to choose a weird sounding answer, and it's pretty much always the wrong fucking answer, okay? So let's say you get a question, and they show you a ferruginous body uh, in asbestosis, and they the question asks you which cell initiates pulmonary fibrosis. I'm just giving a, a weird example here. And the student's not sure. They're like, oh, I don't know, like, which cell would initiate fibrosis in the lungs. That's like, that's that's a weird factoid, right? And then, so they don't know. So what do they do? They choose weird sounding shit. Like, they'll choose Clara cell or Kolchitsky cell. Wrong fucking answers, okay? The answer is macrophage, okay? Now, this is, that's just one example. I noticed this throughout questions, different questions with students. So one thing you can do, one concrete step you could take to reduce the number of questions you get wrong on the real deal is literally when you don't know an answer to a question and you're just going to select a random answer, don't choose something that sounds weird, okay? Choose common sounding answers if you literally have no idea. The only time you should choose a weird sounding answer is if you are actually physically able to eliminate all the other answer choices and you just happen to be left with the weird sounding answer, okay? There's a time and place for that. But as I said, the point of this short clip is one tangible step you can take to increase your scores on your, on your NBMEs and on the real deal, which is when you inevitably encounter questions where you don't know the answer, don't choose weird sounding shit, okay? Obviously, I'm gonna continue making more content. You know the deal. If you like my stuff, Subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.